Hello everybody. Welcome to this evening's, oh it's this evening over here. <laughs> it's not where you are necessarily. It could be the middle of the night. But uh, welcome to Max, Matt Boxler's um, energy pool class um, as an introduction to the 30-day class which follows from Monday. We're so delighted that you're able to join us. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun preparing for this class. And uh, we would love to receive your uh, questions and your awarenesses. So um, anything that we can do to make this easy for you, please just ask. Mm, thank you. Thank you, Ruth. Yeah. So um, there's a welcome, everybody. There's a tremendous amount of, um, I guess, this curiosity and question about energy pulls. And I, I think that was exactly where I started because I was like, oh no, I know what that means. I know how to receive, I know how to pull energy. I definitely know how to push energy. How many of you know how to push energy? Um, and when you're coming from that place where you pretty much know what everything, you've decided you know everything there is to know about something, how much can you actually receive that's new? like none or a whole bunch right <laughs> exactly um so in the process of starting into it i was like starting to do energy pulses opening up doors and spaces and places for me that i had no idea that there was more possible it's like if you can imagine the most delightful experience you ever had in your life and you labeled it as such, and you labeled it as, man, nothing gets better than that. Those are the places that energy pulse can start to unmask things. Um, just talking to our translators again, we're having, uh, could we have, a, could everyone pull some energy in for our translation to work with total ease and a big contribution to Rosangela? <clears throat> Angela, our lovely translator. And we're going to do this. To start with gathering up some energy between your hands. And can everyone allow their barriers just to relax down on three. One, two, three. And acknowledge how much more communion you have with your body right away as your body starts to receive everything you're desiring. And expand out to and let's ask everything that um, Angela actually needs for this to be super easy for her so she can be the, she's already a huge contribution. And can we gather that energy up and gift it to her on three? One, two, three. One, two, three. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> um, cool. All right. So how is everybody? God, there's so many people on. This is so awesome. I'm like, <sighs> got some ecstatic faces and so forth here. Yeah. Um, so where was it? Ruth, can you can you help me remember what was I talking about again? Um, let me unmute you. There we go. Okay, you're unmuted. Uh, we're introducing energy pools, as I recall. Introducing energy pulls. Thank you. <clears throat> and so the biggest awareness I had that actually made me step into it was the acknowledgement. There's so many dead spots in my life that I was sure there was nothing beyond. I reached a point where I wasn't, there was no question. It was an unquestionable place. So would you all be willing to be in the energy of question and just ask the universe can you show me all the places, the unquestionable places in my life that if I were to lower my berries there, I could start receiving from again? Oh God, right, like my mom. <laughs> and everything that comes up around that, can you all destroy and uncreate? Not around my mom, around whatever. Came you can do my mom too if you want. Probably really enjoy it. Good, bad, right or wrong, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. 
Um, and if anybody does want to have a question, please, your questions are so, so welcome here. Matthew, I have one question. Would you please explain that clearing statement? Not everybody on the call has oh, heard that necessarily before. Great, great. Let's Thank you. There. Thank you for reminding me of that. So is there anyone, if you can raise your hand, if you've never done any access before? Jennifer, I, she's funny. I know she's done some access. Okay, cool. <laughs> she just wanted to raise her hand. That's the kindness and tenderness of being. How cool is that? Yeah. Okay, so the clearing statement in a nutshell is this beautiful conglomeration of words that have come together over the last 25 years, thanks to Gary Douglas, who I like to call my big G, the G, the G Meister, Major G. Um, and 25 years ago, what happened is he like had such a deep, caring desire to have the tenderness back in his life and the happiness back in his life and he couldn't find it and there was all these things going around in his life outside of him that seemed totally uncontrollable or changeable and he just asked a question and he's like what's it going to take for me to be happy and from that the clearing statement literally created itself from his ongoing question um which is good and bad right and wrong Pod, all nine shorts, boys and nuts. Um, that clearing statement has so much energy in it. So if you haven't used it before, you may find when you use it or hear it said or it's said by others, it's just like, does your brain ever just like go blank and you're like, what what were what what did what did he what did he say? Does it, if that ever happens for you, that's a good thing. What that actually means is that that actual, that statement goes around your head and gets to all the stuff. If you allow your head to go, it gets to all the stuff that your head's never going to be able to access or change because it's beyond the mind. So it's super cool. In other words, don't use it and don't go to www.theclearingstatement.com, um, which will give you a full rundown from Dr. D. Um, thanks for asking that. I uh, appreciate that, Ruth. Um, You're welcome. So energy pulse. What is an energy pull? Um, there's a lot of facilitators going on right now that are out there doing their energy pull classes, which I'm hugely grateful for, probably like close to a dozen now. So since this is a free call, please receive what works for you. And if any of those other facilitators, like if they just, it's easier to receive them, um, would you be willing to go where it's easiest and use that as the invitation to start choosing easy in your life in the future? I'm going to take that as a yes because I can't hear anything. So everything that comes yes. up, <laughs> everything that comes up around that, can we destroy and uncreate times of God's setting? Yes. Good, bad, right or wrong. Hawk and Pod, all nine shorts, boys and peons. Um, hey, Ruth, can you check in with Rosangela and make sure everything's okay for her? I'll do that. Thanks. I mean, I see a big smile on her face, and that may be enough. Um, so that invitation to ease is where the energy pull can work. Um, I think coming from it, from my background, I was sure an energy pull had to be similar to an energy push. Do you guys ever, does that like ring for you? Do you think of the push as just the opposite of the pull? Yeah, so there's something subtler and more, it's the subtleties of energy that all you have to do is use this tool of ask to have the energy start coming in pulling in, into your life, into whatever you're asking for, to actually create that space. Um, and this piece is really, one of, it's one of the 10 things we're gonna talk about today, the, other than the 10 things I just talked about that uh, weren't on the list. So, um, but that thing we're talking about is called the difference between lightning bolts and contributing. So lightning, when you're doing the lightning bolt, it's when you have a tremendous amount of energy and you wanna focus it and you wanna send it somewhere, you wanna contribute it somewhere, you wanna destroy something, you wanna create something. And those are very 
th there's a place for those. They're very, very valuable. Um, and then there's this other subtle place, which we're going to start and just do one here in a minute, where you are just being the space of question, allowance, tenderness, caring, gratitude, and all of these things that I speak. You're, you're being these for you, for you, so that you don't, oh, I can feel it clearing. So that you don't actually have to continue to look outside of yourself for what you already are. Isn't that awesome? How many people would like that? <laughs> How many people would enjoy not having to seek outside of you for what could be inside of you and be able to receive everything outside of you with much more ease? Okay, so what have you made vital, valuable, and real to always differentiate between the energy around you as having nothing to do with the energy inside of you. And everything that comes up around that can we destroy and uncreate times again so in. Good, bad, right or wrong, pocket pot, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. Okay. So if any of you are new on the call and you're like sensing some shifts in energy and otherwise, that's what these clearing statements do also. They get around your head. They get around it. Not like get it or get your head around it. It's the opposite of getting your head around it. It's getting it around your head so it can change the energies that are beyond what you can use your mind for. So everything that doesn't allow you guys to be the mindless, mindless idiots of total energy pull fantasticness can we destroy and uncreate all that <laughs> good bad right or wrong puck and pot all nine shorts boys and beyonds okay good good so um some other stuff that um it's more of along the lines of looking at is like misinformation like we were talking about the difference between a lightning bolt and being a contribution so contribution is when you just receive, you lower your barriers, expand out, and you just ask. And the energy starts to penetrate and expand out the space between your molecules and your body and your being. And lightning bolt is where something needs a whole lot of energy and you gather it up and you're just like, bam! Was that too loud? Yeah, probably. Okay. Um, Oh, wow, I blew Marcia's video right offline. So it works, it works really good. Um, so does that make sense? The difference between forceful contribution, which has a place, and contribution, which is more of a pull. Okay, everything that doesn't allow that to be totally clear and you to have total clarity around that can destroy and uncreate times God's own. Good, bad, right or wrong, puck pod all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So, can okay, we're gonna do a little clearing around clarity. How many people are always seeking clarity around creation and never, or not often finding it? You can raise your hands. All the rest of you guys are just like totally clear, just like, oh yeah, I got this, no problem, oh my God. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, good. All right, so there's a few of you. That's good. <laughs> Clarity, I, I was like just recognizing this from a lot of the, you know, the brilliance and information that's coming out of the seven day. Clarity is when you know what energy is required for you to receive what you desire. There's no information in it. It's all about the space beyond your head. How cool is that? I like your heads though, don't get me wrong. Huh. You guys keep them. They look good on your shoulders. They're nice, right? Don't go cutting your head off. I did not say that on this call it is what I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to lay that down, but this is not a murder. Can you say that again? Uh, yeah, sure. Not, yeah. About, not about cutting your head off, but the difference. Oh, sure, about clarity? Is that what you're saying? Mm. Yeah. So what have you made vital, valuable, and real about never knowing the 
energy of clarity that's required for you to have what you desire. And everything that comes up around that can we destroy and uncreate times God saying. Thanks, G. Good, bad, right or wrong, pock and pod, all my shorts, boys, and beyond. It's a little bit of charge there. Okay, cool. Um, what have you made vital, valuable, and real about never allowing yourself to receive the energy of clarity that allows you to receive everything you are asking for and desire? And everything that comes up around that can we destroy and uncreate times of God's sake. Good, bad, right or wrong, puck and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Let's find that one more time. Because this clarity piece is so key about, well, uh, there's like, if you're going to be willing to really receive and use the energy pulls in a way that is exponentially more and different for you in your life, are you going to have to have certain energies, allowances, and uh, energies and allowances in your in your world available so that you can actually allow energy to start moving more dynamically. Oh look, Giselle's on from Brazil. How cool is that? I'm so ADD sometimes, sorry. It's the shiny things. Um, can I ask you about the um, Portuguese listeners at the yes. moment? Yes. And there's, there is some difficulty for them there. Um, Rosangela can't actually hear you too clearly, so... Oh, she can't hear me too clearly. No, okay. she can't hear you at, at all. all. Oh. <laughs> Something like <Okay>. that. <laughs> well, let's Is that accurate? <laughs> um, 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 she can't hear us at all. You know what? At this moment... So um, we translate it later? We are going to have a, yeah, you know what? I think we're going to actually offer the call in many languages in the future so more people can have this. So, um, Angela, just enjoy the call. If you want to translate for the, your friends that are there, that would be terrific. I don't believe we had too many other ones online otherwise. Is that okay? Let me unmute you. E avisem para eu poder continuar porque nós estamos tendo problema. Okay, I just was pulling some energy from her world to see that same thing. So would everybody be aware of what you know about the technicalities of this call? And let's just use this as part of the call. Um, I find sometimes if you're willing to pull energy into something outside of you, there is a generation of willingness to do it more for you as soon as you acknowledge that. So can we all lower our barriers on three? Acknowledge all the energies we're using to keep ourselves separate. And on three, can we drop them? One, two, three. There we go. And can you ask your body how much space it's being? Use your headset, Matt. And Thanks for that. There we go. Can everyone hear me all right? Are we good? Okay. I don't have a headset right now, so I'm going to skip that. So and can we acknowledge how much, ask the question, body and being, how much space are you currently occupying? And acknowledge that. And how much space would your body and being have to occupy for everything in your entire reality to be easy. Ask your being, ask your body and knows. Yeah, and from that space, we can get them back. Thank you, Ruth. Mm. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how much energy was just moving that actually could actually disrupt that much capacity to drop out all this technology. Um, so from that expanded space of awareness, that farthest edge of your awareness of how much energy and space you would have to be as a being and in a body, can we contribute to all the technology and whatever it requires, including with the translations for it to be totally easy on three and gather it up between your hands, expand out, and pull one, two, three, one, two, three, 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 two,
two, three. <laughs> Acknowledge the energy of it, the energy of the translation technology. Ask it what it requires. And can you allow the energy to start pulling into it from all the places it requires for this to be easy? There's no force. There's no fire hose. And as you contribute energy to it now more with your threes, acknowledge one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Acknowledge the energies, be aware and sense what actually shifts. I know Reed and I used to do a lot of one, two, threes and one, two, three, fours. I see you're online, Reed. Um, and um, there, I think initially we did a lot of work where it was a lot of what I'm called fire hosing. And uh, let, let me demystify it. There's nothing wrong with being a fire hose. A fire hose is a skill um, to actually take a lot of energy and go somewhere with it. So everything that is going to destroy and uncreate times, God say. Good, bad, right, or wrong, pock and pod, all nine shorts, poise and beyonds. But as we use our capacity to push, and our capacity to pull, and our capacity to allow, and our capacity to be on neutral, and our capacity to, you know, be intimately aware of energy, our abilities and capacities to actually um, use the energy pulls far beyond anything else we've ever done, is that's where it's going to start, is when we start to acknowledge everything we've got going. So everywhere you haven't acknowledged, everywhere you haven't been willing to ask, what do I know about energy? What do I know about the four flows? And what do I know about energy pulse? Can we destroy and uncreate all that that is times and cuts it? Yes. Talk about all nine shorts for us. Ons. Okay. So. And Matt, just for the people who maybe haven't done anything like this before, that that you can do that even if you don't cognitively know what all those things mean. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. All you have to do is ask for them, and I would be happy to tell you more about them. Also, thanks for that, Rube. So. This is actually. Thanks for that segue. This is actually something I wanted to talk about also that I think was really critical and it's called the four flows. So this is the fifth flow, it's called the beer flow. So the beer's here and it's gonna flow into me and create an effect. Everywhere you're not willing to laugh, can you destroy and create times good sound? Okay, good. I'm gonna write my jokes down next time. Um, I thought it was funny. Um, good, bad, red, wrong, bug, and pod, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. Um, the four flows are, uh, this is right in the foundation manual. So this isn't like any proprietary information, but I had to take foundation about a dozen times before I paid attention to them. What's right about that is I get to share it with you guys and you guys don't have to do 12 foundations to get it. So the first one is push energy. Okay. Kind of like that fire hose. So acknowledge, just uh, can we all ask everywhere in our universes and our lives and everyone we know and don't know to start contributing the awareness of the four flows to us with total ease, total non-mental, you know, uh, awareness. Yeah. And anything that doesn't allow the non-mental awareness of the four flows to come to us all with total ease, can we destroy and uncreate times God's way? Good, bad, right or wrong, pot, pot, all that. Shorts, boys and beyonds. So, okay. So the first one is push energy. The second one is pull energy. The third one is neutral energy. And the fourth one is prove it energy. Um, so I want to get, let's give you some examples. So right now I'm going to shift my energy into one of those four flows. So mm -hmm. don't worry about getting it right. Just be aware of what you're aware of. And which one of the four flows are you aware of 
that I'm choosing right now. And everything that doesn't allow that mm -hmm. total ease for you and allow this to be the beginning of something very different for you. Can we destroy and uncreate times back to good, bad, right or wrong, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys, we outs. Yeah, so I acknowledged all the places where I was resisting and I just lowered them and started to pull. And did you notice how much more ease you felt with me? Yeah, because I was receiving you and everybody wants to be received and there's nothing wrong with someone desiring to be received. Everything that that brings up, everywhere you thought, if you desire to be received by someone else, that there's something wrong with you. Did that happen for any of you? Did you guys buy a point of view somewhere where it's, you don't need to be received, you just need to receive others? <laughs> Beth, okay, Beth didn't. All right, I'm looking okay. through. That's a no for Beth, I just. And okay, so <clears throat> everywhere that you have to choose the right point of view instead of your point of view, because it works for you, can we destroy and uncreate all the energy that comes up around that that doesn't allow you to acknowledge the point of views that work for you? Yes. Everything it brings up around that, destroy and uncreate, times of God saying, good, bad, right, or wrong, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys and wins. Yeah, so would you ask the universe to receive you? Let's try that. Hey, universe, you interesting configuration of space and molecules. Would you receive me, please? I, I just need to be received. It's something, there we go. Exactly. Oh, it's visceral. Your body loves it. Your body loves to be received also. Is there anyone that's not having more se more s sensational awareness around that? And you ask the universe to receive you. Okay, cool. It's like 101s of the four energy poles. Can you all acknowledge that you guys are almost done with class and you don't have to do this stupid four-year thing? You're humanoids. Good, bad, right or wrong, pocket pot all night shorts. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now can we turn that around? So let's look at the um, would you be willing to receive the universe with your body and your being just because you can? There you go. And if there's any intensities, what if the intensity of awareness that this reality actually has to offer to you is like holds the joy of embodiment of being here. It's just right on the other side of you dropping it. Just like lower the shield for a minute and let it in and let it come through. God, it almost brought me into tears there. Everything that that bring, um, brings up can we destroy and uncreate times God's day? Good, bad, right or wrong, pocket pot, old short, boys and beyonds. Ooh, yeah. Cool. Okay, same, different. So acknowledge the difference when you're asking the universe to receive you. If you can ask for that now. And now can we turn it around and can you... Ask yourself to receive the universe with your body and your being. Right, there you go. So whatever you acknowledge there, would you please acknowledge that there's nothing wrong with you? All right, I want everybody to say this three times and I want everybody to take off their mutes. Everybody unmute yourself. We're gonna say this three times. A thousand times. I'm not wrong. 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 I'm not
three times. I'm not right. 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 Yes. Whoever said that, we need to look for Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all. I'm going to mute you all and unmute yourself again if we need to hear your lovely voices. Okay. Um, great. Okay. So how much more lightness is in your world right now that you just said it was okay? I'm not wrong and I'm not right. A lot? One hand for a lot, the other hand for a little. I'll figure it out. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Ah, okay. Everything that comes up around that that doesn't allow you to not have to be right, not have to be wrong. Can we destroy and uncreate times God said in? Wrong fuck of it all day. Shorts, boys, and be on. So okay, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And I, my computer is telling me it would like to be cooler. Okay, there we go. You're cool. Or, okay, there we go. Lower, lower, lower. There we go. One moment, please. Okay. Splendid, Smedley. Okay, temperatures are quickly falling. Um, the, uh, the other piece that's coming up that's next here with the energy pulse is, um, that's key, so we've talked about contribution and firebolts we've talked about if you would allow yourself not to have to make yourself wrong and not have to make yourself right how much more space did that bring in for your body and also the piece around um when you're just being you you are an energy pole those times in your life where you were just like absolutely in a blissful state have you ever asked was that something outside of you or was that being you right tricky question everything that doesn't allow you to receive total awareness around that can be destroyed and create times god say good bad right or wrong pocket pot all night short boys and beyond. Wow, I feel like I got my shorts pulled down on that one. There's a lot of energy on that, okay? So everything that doesn't allow you to acknowledge when you're being you is the energy pull of total ease that you are and you be. Can we destroy and uncreate all this bad as time's got to you? Okay, good. Yay! Good, bad, right or wrong, puck and pod, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Met you. Yes. Hi, this is Leonie. I have a small question about uh, the fourth flow, which is prudence. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you explain something about it? Because I've sure. never heard that. Yeah, sure. I was going to, yeah, yeah, we can change it. I usually always save the one that nobody has a clue about for last, but hey, let's change it up, right? Okay, so the fourth one. Sorry, I'm a humanoid. <laughs> You're totally wrong. You're totally wrong. You're totally wrong. You're totally wrong. True. <laughs> She's calling it prudent rather than prove it, I think. Right. Yeah. Well, that could be some interesting energy. So um, would you be willing to receive where there's prove it, prove it energy in your life today, in this moment? Hello, life. Can you show me who's in prove it energy? I'm trying to prove mm -hmm. it's not the energy. There you go. Okay. Prove it energy. That that is. Did everybody get that? Universe, show me oh. the prove it energy where I'm trying to make it not going to prove that energy. And there's that negative positive dynamic. Yeah. It's not a push. It's not a pull. It's a prove it energy. So, Ruth, would it... My brain's frazzled. Ruth, what are, what are we supposed to do with prove it energy again? <laughs> I, I had to write it down because I had I had a premonition that I Oh would... my goodness. I'm gonna have to do some homework but get that. Okay. I can go and find it if you like. Well I'll, yeah, that'd be great if you would, Ruth. Okay, uh, I'll go and have well, it. Well, Ruth's doing that. The other energy pull is um, neutral energy. 
So have you ever met someone or been next to someone and you're standing next to them and it's almost like they're not there? And you might even forget that they are, their bodies here, but you, that could have just been empty space. Okay, so that's neutral energy. So neutral energy is when you're not pushing and you're not pulling. Once again, there's no wrongness. It's just, you're not, you're in, you're kind of in the weight space, just hanging out, chilling out. Um, good example of that is if you're in a really tense environment and you have some, uh, uh, you know, your adaptive energy, um, which is all of you, everywhere you don't think any of you are not adept with energy. Can we destroy and create all that? Good, bad, right or wrong, pocket bottle, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds, or Gary's new one, good and bad, right, wrong, pocket pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. That was another joke. I am really going to turn up my joke level here pretty soon. <laughs> so the... Oh, wow, there's so much space outside. It's gorgeous. The... Um, it's the shiny objects thing. So when you're looking at the neutral energy, and an example of that is uh, like if a, a man and a woman are married, a man's going to put himself on neutral if there's a lot of women around him. Why is that? Because he doesn't want anything to be acknowledged about his push or pull. Because when you're in a relationship, if your energy goes off on another partner outside of your relationship, the other partner immediately zeroes in on it. How many of you guys have ever you know, acknowledge that. Right. So if you're in that and you want to actually acknowledge the neutral energy, that's a great time to do it. Just kind of go on coast and that creates more space. Okay. So does that, oh, does that explain the first three till I hear from Ruth? <laughs> what do you do with prove it energy? This is in the foundation manual, by the way. Were you able to find it, Ruth? I was just looking through all the messages. There's so many. I go and, oh, okay. get, go and get my foundation manual. I won't be a tick. Okay. So with prove it energy, here's what you want to do. When that prove it energy that is there, you need to say, what's my point of view about trying to prove this person? The, uh, what's my point of view about trying to prove the opposite of what this person's pushing at me? Destroy and uncreate everything that comes up around that times a godzillion. Would you be totally willing to just be no point of view about it? Let them, let them have their point of view. And then pull. Pull more energy from them than they are pushing at you with their point of view. So would everybody lower your barriers on three? Or barriers down on three? One, two, three. There you go. And can we expand up as all the way to the edge of your awareness? Acknowledge that person in front of you with prove it energy can be anyone or an artificial fake person. And can you pull on them, pull more energy through them and around them than they can push at you on three, one, two, three. And your body will give you a visceral sensation about it too, as it starts to move through your bodies. Visceral means of the organs. So it's the awareness and sensations of the organs. Your kidneys, your guts, your brain, your skin bag. These are all organs. Your skin bag's your largest organ. How cool is that? Um, and your bones are actually organs because they have soft tissue in the middle. So it's the awareness of almost all of you as a body that creates sensation sometimes. Um, Matt, you got what you needed, did you? I don't know. You want to tell me the right answer? I just gave. <laughs> I think you got it. Pool energy, just as. But I, I oh. know there's there's something with a bit more detail in the blog that Gary wrote. Oh yeah. I'm looking for that, if you like. Yeah, uh, if it's fun. Yeah. Do you guys want to have more detail on prove it energy, or do you feel like you have a sense of it? Okay. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So what do you say we all do an energy pull for you guys? Who wants to do an energy pull? 
na, 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 na. Um, okay, that's everybody. All right. <laughs> Can I um, add something to the energy pool? That is a request from Diraj. Uh huh. If that's okay. Um, so he would like, he would really like to do the 30 day class. Uh -huh. What would it take to um, actualize the money? Mm. So, Dira, how about we do this energy pull and you put that desire you have for that to show up easily into the energy pull and we'll use it. Yeah. So, can everybody pick something real right now? It can be, I want a brand new car. I'm so tired of my boyfriend, girlfriend, I want a new one, or I'd like a million dollars, anything that's totally real for you that you're willing to ask for, doesn't matter what it is. I'd like a new coffee pot, that works. <laughs> yeah, coffee is good, right? Okay, so um, can you say hello to all your barriers again? And on three, just relax them down, people. Relax them down. There we go. One, two, three. Easy as a Michael Jackson song. One, two, three, A, B, C. One, two, three, baby, you and me, girl. Bum, 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 bum. Kind of got my little dance on there. Do the happy hands. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and acknowledge that playfulness and laughter and everything. How much more do you receive if you're in that space? Yeah. Okay, cool. Know what you know. Know what you know. Okay, and then acknowledge how much space you're occupying right now with your body. And would you be willing to be no point of view about it? This is an awareness. Heaviness is an awareness. How cool is that? And how much space would you need to uh, occupy with you and your body for all of this next energy pull to go a godzillion times more spectacular than anyone has before? Whew. It makes me feel like a bit of a, I might promote myself from space cadet to space captain any minute. Wow, that was big, thank you guys. Two, to get my own spaceship. A little bit the word that goes with this, yeah, that's the word I'm feeling. I'm not going to say that right now. Um, I'll say it after the call, it's not politically correct. Um, <clears throat> although I'm often that word, <clears throat> okay, and expand out. And can we expand our awareness out to the farthest edges of this space we are aware of now? And would you be willing to gather energy from all the places and spaces? between you and the farthest edge of your awareness. There you go. All the spaces in between, up and down and all around. Acknowledge the energy out in front of you, the energy of your future that's already there. And on three, let's gather that three up, acknowledging the energy already starting to pull into it and contribute. One, two, Three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if you're a fire hose person and you like it, you can fire hose. Bam, 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 bam. Whatever you want to do, or you can do Tweety Birds, one, two, three, or however you want, anywhere in between those two. Good, bad. And now we're going to, let's acknowledge all the fours. The fours are the, the magic and the seeds of possibility that haven't existed in your life yet. They literally don't exist yet. How exciting is it to get to actually use fours every time you get to do an energy call? Really exciting or I'm totally bored? <laughs> I get really excited, I don't know about you guys. Okay, so on four, all the magical possibilities for this to show up totally different than you can control on four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so who's having 
a change in the visceral sensations of your body as we're doing this. Can you raise your hand if you want? Okay, what is that? Is that just a squeak little bit more energy than you're used to running through your body, just sneaking in the back door and shooting out your hands or something like that? It's magic. It's or it's magic, what she <laughs> said, whoever that was. Thank you. Right. So the more you do these, the more energy moves through your body. And the more energy that moves through your body, the less things are going to be stuck in your body. So can, can you acknowledge what contribution energy pulls can be for you and your body? Just by doing them, there's so many awesome side effects. Right? So all the awesome side effects you're not willing to acknowledge, can we destroy and uncreate everything that doesn't allow them to show up right away on three, one, two, three. Good, bad, right or wrong, pocket pod. All nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Can I just say something, Matt? Yes, please. Who is this? This is Kim. There's a huge firework display going on out there. Oh yeah? Yeah, fireworks going off. That's what I'm feeling in my body. Oh, well, how cool is that? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Look at Kim. She's got a happy on. Tim, Kim's got a fun on. I'm going to talk. You know what? Can I actually brand this, Kim? That you created the first fun on for women. Okay. <laughs> the non-denominational blank on. Everything that that brings up for you, can we destroy and create times of God's day? Sure, can I get paid for it? <laughs> Let's put that in the next energy poll. What do you say? Good, bad, red, wrong, pumpkin pot, all nine shorts, boys and men. So who's got questions? I've been talking for an hour and I'm like, I'm just titillated on what's coming up in your world as a question um, around energy polls uh, before we move on to some other content here. Who wants to ask a question? Because you could feel how uncomfortable everyone else on the call is by doing it. Hi, Matt. Yes. Oh. Who was that? Jennifer. 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 Jennifer Marie. Hi. LB. Yes, what's your question? Good. Um, so, do you <clears throat> find that you need to request the same things or put the same things that you desire into your polls? Mm, good question. Every time you do it. Um, can everybody ask? I'm going to ask a question in everybody's head. Okay. Okay. Now, would everyone acknowledge whatever number showed up? Okay. So that number is how many things that are in your energy polls already? Um, now, I brought that up so you guys can acknowledge you know what you know. You know what you know. That's what access is for, to help you even know uh, more what you know. And if you didn't get a number? <laughs> you, if you didn't get a number, you can use Ruth's. What's yours? <laughs> I'll make one up for you. Yeah, what, what would... <laughs> 45. How about 45. That? Okay, great. Um, so I, after I just started using energy polls, I started to doubt myself. I'm like, oh my God, I think I just put 200 things into my energy pool and I can't remember any of them. So um, it's going to be different for each of you and it's going to be uh, an enhancing your level and quality of question with your energy pulls to say, uh, if everyone can ask yourself this question, is it required in this conversation for me to remember what's in my energy pulls? Truth. And get what you get. Maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong, maybe it's yes, maybe it's no. It's all gonna be for you. Now, I'll tell you about what I do, but please know whatever you do is gonna actually work for you. 
Um, I write a lot of mine down for a while just to kind of, um, cause it turns into this process of me learning more about what I'm asking for every time I look at it. <clears throat> so let's say you wanted, uh, you'd like to institute $18,000 sometime in the next week or so, maybe two weeks, let's say. Okay. Whatever that is. And I wrote that down a few times. Okay. So like when I went to my energy polls, I checked my list and like $18,000. Hmm. Interesting energy comes up about it today. That wasn't there yesterday. Pock and pod, everything that doesn't allow me to totally, and all you guys to totally receive all the energies that come up around what seems like the same old subject, but it's new energy every time. So everything that comes up around that can we destroy and uncreate times again. So good, bad, right or wrong, pocket pot, all my shorts, boys and beyonds. I'm so grateful for Jose Angela translating right now. <laughs> uh, can we all pull on her energy? Oh, what a gift to receive someone. So Rose Angela Phoenix, just lower your barriers and let's all do one of the four energy pulls as an exercise and just receive her. For no good reason at all. Oh, thank you. God, what a joy. What a joy it is to receive others. Once you get over the only reason you wouldn't want to receive everything, which is some point of views, what if it's just as joyful as having others receive you? We should probably pop and pod that one, right? Hold on. <laughs> Just some more faces. Okay, yeah, let's pop and pod that. Okay. So everything you've made vital, valuable, and real to saying pulling energy is different than pushing energy and receiving someone is different than you being received that you're using to totally uncreate the future you're not choosing. Can we destroy and uncreate all that that is? Times God said. Yes. Good, bad, right, wrong, pop and pod. Oh my. Shorts, boys, and beyonds. Oh. Okay, Jen, thank you so much for your massive patience. Um, so I kind of went with the energy. You want to ask me what your question is again? I just unmuted, Jen. So what came up after whatever we just accomplished was, are you putting in the the energy are you trying to sense what the energy is like after you already have the thing that you desire and put that into the energy pole yes okay i don't understand what you said but it was totally <laughs> like <laughs> like am i trying to once when i'm when i'm doing a pole and when i'm putting the things into the pole that i would like to receive Am I making an attempt at getting what it would feel like to have it already and put that in the pole? Or is it just like, yeah. I don't know what it's going to feel like when I have it, but this is what I desire. So I'm mm -hmm. putting whatever that is into the pole okay. or both of those, maybe Yeah, both of those. Yeah. My first answer. Yeah. Like, okay. um, but to talk more about that, um, you know, the, the visceral feelings, the sensations, the, uh, the awareness that you have when there's something you really desire. Someone, can we all just acknowledge something you just love to have right fucking now? And just, would you allow it into your world right now? Just right fucking now. Just allow it to come in. Allow the energy of it to come in. Because the solidification is just when you squash all the energy down. So it's already there. Um, yep. Show the world, allow the world to see what you're asking for so that you can get out of any judgments you have about asking for it. You silly human arts. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good, bad, right, or wrong, puck and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. You know? I would like to have a single speed bomber so I can start riding like Pee Wee Herman. He looks so happy when he's on a bike. I want that. That makes me come alive. I'll have that now. 
And how much judgment is around that? I don't fucking care. I want that pink bike with the honker on it that I can ride without my hands because it'll make me feel alive like Dewey Wee Ehrman. Great. So acknowledge, if you let all this, let's <laughs> just acknowledge them, pock them, pot them, and start having the energy that Jen's asking here about, if you just have the energy for a second, you're being the energy of what you're requesting the universe to provide for you. And damn it, it needs clarity. If you're just doing this energy, uh, can I have some more of this? <laughs> the universe is like, yeah, sure. And it'll bring you like 30 truck drivers to sit around in your room and drink beer with you. But those might not be the truck drivers you were really looking for. Nothing against truck drivers. They have a very important part of our culture. I love how they get stuff from A to B. They're awesome. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, get the energy of what you want. So let's, uh, let's do that now. So acknowledge if any of your barriers have come up uh, since the last uh, energy poll with an interesting point of view. Hmm. Oh, well, my trousers creeped up on me again. Okay, so push your energetic trousers down. I said energetic. This is not a that kind of call. <laughs> Another call that Ruth is doing that's like costs like 50 times. <laughs> um, so lower them. There you go. <laughs> and expand out as far as you desire. The edge of your awareness. Okay. Acknowledge the energy out in front of you. And I'm going to just get my Pee Wee Herman bike. Mm. Really going to get what it's going to be like to have that in my life. And take that energy and contribute it to your future. God, I'm going to end up with 200 Pee Wee Herman bikes if you guys put <laughs> Lee Herman bike in your energy bubble. How cool is that? One, two, three. 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 Now acknowledge the tenderness and the kindness of the energy flows that are happening. Can you allow them to pull the energies from your body also and the space around your body? And some fours for the magical seeds of possibilities to make this infinitely grander than anything else that you desire on four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. God, how much more peace and ease are you having with your body? You're allowing a lot more energy to go through it. And you're creating your futures right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, is there anything? Yes. Does that make sense? Is there anything else from you, Jennifer? No, thank you. Big smiles. Ruth, were you saying something, my dear? Yes, there's a question I've had privately. <clears throat> from somebody, presumably he's written to me privately, I, what, he doesn't want me to say his name, but um, I have a question, I remember adding a car in one of my energy pools, it didn't show up for me, but it did for my parents, so what my question is, how do I actualize it for myself rather than creating it for others? That is such a great question. I love it. See, that's you guys actually creating the content on this call for the questions nobody else is asking because they don't know they're asking it and they need to know them yet. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I got like 200 examples, but I'll, I'll <laughs> a real simple one. So a friend of mine um, was, who's on this call by the way, her name's not Ruth. <laughs> so we were, I was like, Ruth, could you help me contribute to my energy pulls? I'm, I'm ready. I'd really like to choose a home base now, something that's generative and kind and nurturing for me. <laughs> a 
I've been, I've been a gypsy of consciousness for a lifetime, lifetime, but I'd really like to have a place where I keep my stuff, you know, and I bounce in and out of there. And we're one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, Ruth gets the gorgeous cottage like in eight hours or less. And I got fucking Jack diddly nothing. <laughs> so what is that? Is, um, and I'm addressing the energy of the fellow's question. What is that? Well, how much more significance did I have about having that home base and all the definitions than Ruth did? Mm. By the time I got to Ruth, she'd kind of given up on it in a sense of, eh, I've been doing it, pulling so hard on it and saying it's got to look this way for so long. I'll just, I'll just relax. And then she got into, and jump in anytime, Ruth, if you want to comment. Um, then she started acknowledging what, how much excitement I had about it, or what, what was it? Let, let's hear from you. Okay, well, there's been a lot of things going on around these energy pools for me. And one of the things actually, um, so I've been allowing my sexualness to flow much more. Nobody can, can they? <laughs> So I feel I have a it's I, I, I get that that's been a, a big part of this. So um, I I get that um, also my it's been it's really good to do these with other people, say as we're doing here now and if you choose to do the class going on, receiving each other mm. is um, is a massive part has been one of the things I feel that oh yeah, yeah. That's a, contribution oh my god I'm gonna be a total fire hose and run over you on this one so what Ruth said this receiving others so she's like through her energy pulse she's like receiving a lot more of others and so the things that are happening for her are so much more dynamic and quick and easy and how much more aware is Ruth of other people's desires and needs and requirements too? And how much could you allow that to be a contribution of awareness to you as you use your energy pulse to do more than one thing, you know, pull mm -hmm. the future together, to pull your past apart and to start receiving everything around you from a space of oneness. Because then you don't have to do anything more. And how many people are like always saying, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Well, then you don't have to do Jack Diddley squat anymore. You can just be aware and contribute what's required to other people who are willing to do whatever it takes to have X, Y, and Z. And I'm just feeling the squirreliness in all your head. So everything that comes up around that, we need to figure that out. Can we just destroy and uncreate it for a second? Yes. We'll figure it out later. Put in a little pink bag off to the side here. We'll get it on the way out. Good, bad, right or wrong, pocket pot on a short voice. Every ons. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing, you know, Ruth brought that piece about why, how come all my friends get what I'm asking for and she's allowing more sexualness and just the sexualness and body level connection of being with. Um, her body and then there's significance so if you're pulling on something forever and it's not coming to you uh, a question you can always ask is how significant have I made this plus we had fun doing it <laughs> we <laughs> laughed a lot <laughs> and we definitely have a lot of fun together which actually we're probably going to work together who knows we're, we may create some stuff together as far as classes because there's such a playfulness instead of like chop 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 okay here's the abcs which how much fun is that for you or the universe to get all the ducks in line and not allow them to ever get out of order really fun or not so fun <laughs> i hear Pee Wee herman saying not so fun Okay, so everything <laughs> and that going destroy and create times a godzilla. Yeah. Good, bad, right or wrong, puck a pod, all my shorts, boys and beyonds. <clears throat> um significance, sexualness, thanks for that. I would have forgotten that, Ruth. And <laughs> right? <laughs> That's saying, hey. 
Uh, the, um, okay. I'm going to read through these last 10, kind of skim through them, because we obviously didn't get to them. If you've been on an access call before, I know you kind of get how these go. You kind of have to, like, follow the energy. So stuff that the 30-day call that we're really going to look at is force versus receiving. And we're going to just through the process of running these energy pulls more and more. There's a good chance you may lose a lot of your force and start receiving fuckloads. Uh, truckloads. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, my lips slipped. Um, and the four flows, we're going to go into those a lot more. Um, did everyone kind of get a good question or a good awareness of the four flows or do we have any more? questions on it. If someone's pushing, just pull. If somebody's pulling, so like for a guy, the girl in the corner of the room who desperately wants to get married, she's going to pull like crazy on that guy. Now, if he doesn't want to, you know, hook up with her or create something with her, all he has to do is push shitloads of energy at her and push her away. Example. Relationships really common one, so it's one for everyone to grasp. Um, neutral. If someone's on neutral, I always ask, well, okay. If they're on neutral and they're not really paying me for sessions or SOPs or whatever, I'm like, hi, what's up? You know, you're just kind of like on idle. But if it was somebody that was actually asking for some change, somebody's on neutral, you want to flow energy to them gently. Gently, it's like that tenderness and gentleness of the flows that come into your future when we're doing our pulse. That's flowing. It's kindness. Ruth's favorite word, it's tender. <laughs> it's the tenderness of being. Isn't that nice? Yeah, so flow them a little bit of energy and allow them because they haven't had a lot of, they're choosing not to have a lot of flow through their life. And then the prove it people, pull, 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 pull. Right after you pock and pot all your points of view that says you have to prove them wrong. Because that's just going to make them push like a bulldozer and not in a good way. One where you get buried early. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that brings up will destroy on great types of God said. Yeah. Good, bad, bad, wrong, pock about all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Ruthie. Am I in your head? It's. <laughs> I don't know. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just thought I'd let everybody know that I posted in the chat, and we can maybe send it in the email that goes out, the um, link to a blog written by Gary Douglas, which explains the energy calls really nice. Oh, good. Can you send that to me too? <laughs> You've already got it. Oh, I <laughs> but I can send it again. What I mean to say is, thank you. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, can you know laughter and comedy has always been part of my world because you know my mom and the mother I chose she was not very happy and so I chose to see how much funnier can I get. Acknowledge what happens when you guys have a really cathartic, chest-based, heart, full body laugh. How much does that change, erase, eradicate? even any need to have anything fun, anything new in your life, because you're just like so at peace and in the joy of your body. So my question is, would you be willing to start saying stupid, funny shit to people just because you can to acknowledge what energies come up in them and use that as part of your practice of the four energy pulse? And, and is it okay if you don't have to know how it, it shows up? You can put this in your energy pulse too. You can just say, okay, I'd like to have more awareness and I'd like to create more joy and laughter for people, even if they don't want it. <laughs> Good, bad, right, or wrong, pocket pot, all nine shorts, boys, man. Okay. <laughs> um, is Teresa still here? Is Teresa still on? She had a question in the chat. I wondered if she wanted to ask you. Oh, sure. Help. Teresa, did you want to unmute and ask a question? Where has she gone? 
Archie, maybe. Shall I read it out and see? Because yeah, you might catch the, yeah, the yeah, recording. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, okay. So she says, and the the there's another question to go with the car thing after that. So um, when I pull energy recently, I perceive the energy to be dark, heavy, and sharp. Mm. It does lighten on who does it belong to. However, it returns. Maybe I have a point of view that this is wrong. Um, I'm going to just extrapolate the question in that one. Um, okay. So is the question, what, what would it take to change this? What do I, I get it's more like, well, what do I do with this? Um, so if you acknowledge, actually, let's ask the universe, is there anything that's not awareness in the universe? Is everything aware? Even the dark, heavy, stinky stuff. And do you get truth? Yeah. Beth Boswell says, that's great. <laughs> I like that. I'm, I'm stealing that one. No, there's nothing in the universe that isn't awareness. So when you're aware of heaviness, would you be willing to receive it? It's not a don't go that way. Light and heavy was kind of like, an early, an earlier, light and heavy has evolved. How's that? So heavy is no longer what you're not wanting to choose. It's actually an awareness presenting itself to you. Heaviness is not something that you don't choose. It's an awareness presenting itself to you so you can be in a new choice. So everything that doesn't allow you to be in a new choice awareness around what else is possible when you're aware of heavy things they're just the uh, solidified things of this reality can you destroy and uncreate all that yes right or wrong talk about all nine shorts boys it'd be awesome and back to her question i with the energy specific to what she's talking about i would be you know i'd definitely be asking the four questions what is this can you do it from that tender kind and receiving space what is this what can I do with it? Can I change this? Well, if you can't change it, what would it take for this to change easily for you? And pock and pot, everything that comes up. Good, bad, right or wrong, pock and pot, all nine shorts, pulls and ones. I love all the fried out faces. <laughs> I mean, not in a good way, but in a bad way. It's really, this is awful that you guys are so fried. Um, but actually, I'm like, when you guys get all fried out, have you acknowledged that's because you're so willing to let a whole bunch of things change in your reality? Have you acknowledged that? Nope. Would you be willing to acknowledge that now? Yep. <laughs> or even if, you know, I've found out like after long calls, with some of my other co-facilitators, like especially like Liam Phillips, I'll be like so pissed off at the end of the, of the call and I'll have no idea why. But in hindsight, you know, a few days down the road, I'm like, oh wow, I was allowing myself to be pissed off. That was what I got to receive from the call. Good, bad, right or wrong, pock and pot, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. Because that wasn't an allowance in my world till I started pulling so much energy through my world that I couldn't hold on to these things that were so well rooted in the past. Mm -hmm. I know, Matt's always talking about himself. You used to say that to me, huh? Yeah. Oh, everybody in my family. Uh, so everything. <laughs> Good, bad, right or wrong, pock and pot, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. Hey, Ruth, did you have another question on that one? Oh, we've actually got a result. So the person who I've just I noticed. Love results. They make my eyes stick out. The person who was saying he wanted to get the money for the class mm -hmm. has just paid for the class. <laughs> <laughs> How does it get awesome. better? <laughs> Would you That's guys you. <laughs> What if you guys started? Yes! Yes! That's so yes. cool! Yes! Woo! Ah. My head is... Woo! Woo <laughs> wow. That is awesome. Oh, thank you, Raj! 
I want to bring up another piece on that, which I could tell Ruth wanted to say, is when you're willing to be aware of other people's energy pulls, how much do you get a receive from their energy pulse? A lot? Oh, I'm gonna use Judy Wolf's favorite. Truckloads or fuckloads? She taught me that one. Yeah. It was a long time ago, Judy. You don't have to remember, but I thought it was like, so tons or not so much? <laughs> Everything that doesn't allow you to totally be aware of energy, energy, and others' energy pulls as I don't know how it's going to show up, but I'm sure it's going to be a generative contribution to my energy pulls. Can we destroy and uncreate all that? Yes. You too, Jennifer. Good, bad, red, wrong, pock and pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Good, bad, red, wrong, pock and pot, all nine shorts. Oh, there's so many Jennifers. You too, all you Jennifers. <laughs> I just figured out Jennifer isn't spelled F-U-R at the end. And I'm, all, I'm near 50. I'm like, how cool is that that I finally figured it out? <clears throat> Jennifer. Thought it was a name for a bear uh, or something. Good, bad, red, wrong, pocket pot. Uh, Ruth? Yes. <laughs> I'm, Sorry, I'm, doing several I'm things so the grateful time. for the kindness and caring you be as far as the space around the call. Uh, thank you. Thank it's you. a pleasure. I must have good taste. Thank you for having me. Something, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that, actually, that's number 10 there, which was that we're, we're going to catch towards the, well, it's part of the 30-day class, but it's called Creating and Receiving the Energies Be, the Energy Others Be by Receiving Oneness. Oneness has been such a no fucking way zone for a zillion years. How many of that, you know, how, how many of you does that resonate with? You want to be in oneness where everybody knows everything that's going on and can change your reality just by being kind and aware or pissed off and aware. No, nobody wants that. We all want to get in our box and have some semblance of stability and control and something we can call ourselves or I know that's how it would have been for most of my life so this new space of oneness though with all the changes of the reality of possibilities that's finally been created just since the seven day a little reference there's there's like a visceral reality that's like it's here now it's it's aware it can, it's like phenomenal which we're going to talk about how to actually integrate that also your energy pulse. Can, can you all expand out to that and would you like to acknowledge it? But it's there. It's there for you. It just wants to contribute to you as much as you can receive it. And it's the energy that pushes the molecules apart. That does not make you fat. It makes more space in your body. <laughs> I used to always tell people, hey, why don't you expand your body out as far as your awareness? And they're like, no. You know how long it's worked to get down to this weight? And I was like, oh, oh, right. <laughs> Good, bad, right, wrong, fucking bad, all that church, boys and And acknowledge that space of the new reality. And what is different now with that energy that can allow us to have this oneness of total caring, total insignificant sharing, and total kindness? Have you got a moment, and um, there's a question that came just yes. now. Let me pock and pod everything that came up for every, everybody's all blown headed right now. So everything that brings up that doesn't allow you to be in a total state of whatever you're asking for, can we destroy and uncreate times of God's zero? Good, bad, right or wrong, pock and pod, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Ruthie. Okay, actually there are two questions. Which would you like first? Would you like the, the add-on to the car question? Actually, the person who's I want the oh, one you want to say. Pardon? The one you want to say. The one I want to say. Uh, okay, we'll go to that, that one in a minute then. Um, so, Safia, do you want to ask your question in person or would you like me to ask the question? Safia, no barf bag, Safia. Is that the same one? You know what? Let's just go ahead and. Okay. Um, let's go ahead, Ruth. 
She's asking about pulling energy. Hmm. Is that a question for you? <laughs> well, we did some of that, didn't we? Well, you're, yeah. We're, do you want to talk about what it's like to pull, pull? Kind of, it's like a collaborative energy pull. Okay, I'll talk about it and then jump in. Yeah, you go for it. So the collaborative energy pulls, um, they're, I swear to God, they weren't in our reality a week ago. But it's this space where you can allow other people's energy pulls to actually co-create with you without having to worry that their own internal judgments are going to fuck it all up. You can acknowledge it as the energy that they're actually asking for. Yeah. So everything, uh, what have we made vital, valuable, and real about never acknowledging what's already here and that our requests are so near? We just run and create everything that comes up on that. Good, bad, right, wrong, pock and pot, all nine shorts, boys and men's. Um, I probably wouldn't talk as much about them in this moment as if you're doing collaborative energy pulls. Just be aware of other people's energy pulls and say, hey, well, what's, what's valuable here that I can receive? Um, a great example, Reed and I have known each other for a long time, and I would say we both have shifted a lot in who our personality and persona is, but what I did notice is that we were always aware of each other's energy pulls, but it wasn't up here. It was like kind of, you know, a sense sort of awareness, and we'd show up, and often we'd be like, we're like dude, that phone's just like my phone, dude. The laptop's just like my laptop. Dude, I love your jacket, but I thought it was mine. And that was like this willingness to like lower the barriers and like really receive from each other because we had less points of view about each other. But now what's super cool about it is I'm aware there's so much more possibility for everybody to have that with anybody. All you got to do is choose it. That's funny because after we did one of our energy pulls the next day, we both bought, ourse bought ourselves a bunch of flowers. <laughs> huh, right. I never buy flowers. Well, I really wasn't. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Yeah. Um, okay, guys, we are getting, uh, we're a little bit past our hour and a half. I want to acknowledge that you guys like so present and aware and have contributed to so so much to the call like for an hour and a half which can be a real stretch when you've got so much capacity as humanoids so uh gratitude for sticking it out and being here and receiving everything you can um ruth do you want to talk about what i think we had a little bit of confusion on what the free call was and the 30-day call and all that and how that works, or is there anything we need? Does anyone else have questions about <laughs> month-long energy, Paul? Hmm. I can give just a few, the few short stats are, we're gonna do it five days a week, Monday through Friday, 15 to 20 minutes. Get on the phone, pull, 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 pull. Every day we're gonna be adding some different new sort of uh, I'll call them tips and tricks, but chances are I'll pull all this stuff out of your heads anyway and contribute your uniqueness with the energy pulse to everyone else. Um, and then Saturday, we'll get another hour and a half class in, debrief, clear, much like today's class, except this one had fuckloads and truckloads more energy. Um, the... Um, and then we'll do it for a whole month and we're going to see what we can all create and how much room we can open up for ourselves to start pulling our future together like with energy instead of structures so that it can continue to change and have this net mass of energy that's always there to work for us i didn't know that until i said it that's good. um there have been a few questions about whether what format this is going to take oh, so sure. it's going to be on zoom yeah okay so if everything goes right we're still going to do two languages portuguese and english which we're going to find out after this call it's going to be done on zoom so that means you can just jump on your phone we've got a international dial list that's worldwide you can jump on your phone for 15 minutes if it's not appropriate to get on the zoom 
and you will still be connected to the Zoom just on your phone instead of okay. you know, video. Or you can jump on on your phone and do video or on your laptop. It's pretty much any way you want. Um, the recordings after all the call, they're gonna, all the calls, they're gonna start to build. And I'm gonna put them permanently online so there's an archive of each of the days. The key, you know, we'll label them by the days and what the key energy for that energy pull was. So that you can always access them later if they have some value. It'll just be the audios as far as the archives are concerned, not the videos. Unless you guys really wanted them. I, I could look in to see what that would take. Um, one question has come up. What happens on a Sunday? <laughs> Sunday? Well, I, I was brought up Catholic and Sunday is the day of our Lord. <laughs> And do nothing. Sorry. So I'll be on my knees for 24 hours on Sunday, begging God, please, just don't send me to the hot, awful place. No, Sundays is nothing. Sundays is your day off. <laughs> cool. Maybe I'll cool. go do some comedy stand up or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, this will be. I'm going to put the whole um, Zoom online. I'll put it on YouTube and put it on a hidden link so you guys can all replay it later. If there's any tidbits you want to steal out of it um, or share it out for other people, um, that will happen tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm sure. The, the new class is going to start uh, Monday morning, 10 a.m. MST. That's Mountain Standard Time. If you want to be on it, good luck to have you. Uh, you guys... One thing I know, as I found out, is I know so much shit about energy pulls that I had no clue that I knew until I started. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like as excited to do these calls to get all the brilliance that comes out of you guys about this and the different ways we can start like just dissolving all of this stupidness that says unique means uh, that, you know, Unique isn't a good thing. Unique's not the, you know, your spec, your star. It's your badge that makes you like a delightfully different being. I think my tongue just got fat. <laughs> yeah. Who did that belong to? Yeah, who did that belong to? <laughs> <laughs> Whose fat tongue does that belong to? One, two, three. Okay. It's so skinny now. Um, the, uh, so uh, last minute, Ruth, do we do all right with that? Matt, I had a quick question. Yeah. I had a quick question about the replays for the during the week polls. Mm -hmm. How soon after the actual poll at 9 a.m. Mountain Time will the replay be available? Um, internet dependent, as I'll be traveling, I'll, I always like upload them immediately. So I would say within the hour of the call. Okay, cool. Thanks. Because these are going to be 15, 20 minutes. They'll be relatively small. So you can get them on your phones if you just want to listen to them. Or if you do miss, you are on the call. You know, if you guys are on the class, please be on the call as much as you can. I, I beg of you for my own totally selfish reasons. <laughs> you, guys are, I mean, the, you guys have so many differences than me. Have you all acknowledged how different you all are? <sighs> have you had yeah. a Give me a call. Yeah, I'll let you know. Did Can I hear? I ask a question? Yeah, Beth. Yeah, um, you're saying ten o'clock, so I think that's eleven o'clock my time, and I don't get off work to twelve. So will it? Are you central? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, headset and a phone, and pretend you're doing your job and just listen in on the call. I, possible, but I work with customers. Ah, uh, yeah. I often, when I have customers, I do two separate headphones and two separate phones. So, and then just, it's really good practice to smile at people and not listen to anything that's going on. <laughs> it's definitely okay. creates a lot more space for me. I, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so there's one question here. Um, the calls are at different time than tonight's one. So the, the, the ones Monday to Friday are at a different time to the ones on a Saturday. 
I think we changed them all to the same time. So it's total humanoid cohesiveness. So they're all 2 p.m. MST. There may be one still out there that says 10 a.m. That one's defunct. Uh, so 2 p.m. for Monday through Friday and the Saturday calls is what the next month is. Oh, okay. Then I'm work. Yeah. How much better does it get, Beth? Bravo! Know? Yay! Yay! Yes! 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 We've got a yes. yes. <laughs> Yay! Got three yeses. Who's yesing? I want. I want more of you. That's Lucia. Oh, right. Duh. I've already. Heard. Ah, yes. Lucia. Yeah. Lucia. Lucia. <laughs> hey, Ruth, you want to tell everybody your name in Portuguese? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> we just it's... learned this from our uh, translator. <laughs> yeah. Ruchi? Ruchi. How am I doing? How am I doing? Ooh, Hold on, I'm gonna unmute you for a second, uh, <laughs> Angela. You're unmuted. Could you could you say correctly? Okay, let me see. Do you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, Hoochie. <laughs> that is awesome, right? <laughs> so, if you guys would like to contact Ruth Barlett and you just need some hoochie. She's right on Facebook, and it's Ruth Barlett, B-A-R-T-L-E-E-T. -E -E she has no skills beyond hosting classes. She's just kind of boring that way. Um, and uh, that's another piece. Ruth's, this whole energy piece, Ruth's world and the world that I'm creating, they're like kind of, we didn't have to get married. We didn't have to have a baby. We didn't have to be in a relationship. But it's a space yeah. where finally things are actually overlapping. Like everybody's been demanding they be that can only come from a relationship. And, oh, <laughs> the, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> and there, we're actually contributing to each other. And we're the other sexes. We're not the mm. same sexes. And we've, all these things are changing so fast that. It's been massive for me. How much better does it get? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. God, I have never been able to keep on talking forever. Are you guys like burn out like overcooked cookie dough or are you okay? <laughs> I got some okay. smiles, a little bit Get of cookie there. dough. There. Okay, good. Is there uh, any other questions from you, Ruth, or from anyone else on the call? I just wondered if what it would be like to flow each other a bit of energy. Oh, right now. And that's gorgeous. All right, would everybody be willing to put yourself on neutral? Relax. Stop your pull, stop your push. Just be with your body in this 10 seconds. Because you can. And ask the universe to show you someone who would generate genuinely enjoy your energetic contribution and can you just from that space of tenderness and kindness just flow in a little energy be kind don't be a dick just flow <laughs> i don't know why i said that but it was kind of funny yeah yeah allow it to just flow yeah and acknowledge if that's bringing also a gentle flow into your world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's so many different ways to work with energy. How much better does it get? God, you guys, thank you for, um, yeah. That was you, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was, thank you for your contribution and this, I was trying to make the free call separate from the regular call, but I realized whatever was happening here, the call kept saying, this is creating the rest of the call. So can you all acknowledge your contribution of energy to the rest of the call, whether you take it or not? It's all choice means nothing. Yeah. And just acknowledge all the energy you've received has created the possibilities for others who do take the call. Thank Great. you. Thanks everyone. Uh, Matt and Ruth, especially.
Oh yeah, ditto. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Reed, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chris. Woo! Everybody else, Beth, Jen, Abbott, Rosie Rose, Thank you. Uh, you had a great question, Mahilka, Mahilka, everybody that I can't pronounce in on three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Thanks. All right, guys. Thank you. Ciao. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye-bye.